What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dr. D-Dub, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, last episode, we had a issue with Mark slash Mildred their mouse when it crashed, and I was thinking of ways to fix it. Um, I don't know why I never thought of this or have never done it. You can actually increase the, ma the maximum waiting time to ridiculous amounts. I thought it stopped at 120, but I'm able to keep going. I'm actually just going to keep it at 120. That gives people two minutes, or that gives two minutes for two people to want to ride this. Uh, it is still recovering. Our marketing campaign hasn't really done too much, uh, but everyone thinks it's unsafe still, uh, which I can't blame them. It killed four people, so, and now it's broken. <laughs> Very not reliable. Um... But I wanted to take a look at our success of a ride. Big, not big wood chip. <laughs> Groundhog Day. There we go. 76 people on the ride. 76 people in line. Like, it is nuts. Look at this line. It is all the way out. It. Uh, where does it start? Goes there, goes up, wraps around, all the way up, all the way back to the beginning. It is a success of a ride. I'm so happy with how that came out. Not only was it a blast to build, but it's also great to see it actually being successful. Uh, and I did a quick scan through our park before this episode, and I don't see a single ride that people aren't riding. Um, I mean, obviously there's exceptions, but... As far as, you know, things being overpriced after two years in our park, uh, we haven't had to modify prices on anything. Except maybe this? Yeah, except this. I spoke too soon. We'll drop this to a dollar. Uh, but other than that, I think everything is doing fairly well. You're not hungry for a haunted house. That's fair. I can't blame you. Uh, whatever. I don't care if we don't make money from that haunted house. Let's build something. Uh, we have a couple things I wanted to take care of this episode. First off, uh, I mentioned I liked having some entertainers in our park because I thought it added a lot to the feel of a, being a game ranch. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to add two more of everything. Uh, why hasn't this been fixed? Come on, guys. Mechanic 6 is really... He's really posing more of an issue than a solution in our park. He's causing a lot of rides to be down for way longer than they need to be. Because he seems to be the one that gets all the radio calls when he's across the park. Um, it's not something I'm too worried about. It's just something I might need to pay heed to in our next park in that I just need to be better about hiring mechanics for rides and not have to hire a fallback because that's kind of what he is uh, in case I forget to cover something that it doesn't go unrepaired. Um, but that's it for our entertainers. We now have 12, which is quite a few. Uh, I wanted to build, I think I want to build some sort of water ride and I said I really probably wasn't going to do a water slide. So that means I'm going to build a river rapids. But first, there's always a but first, I feel. Uh, but first, I want to take care of... I think I want to do a hedge maze. And I found kind of a decent spot for it. It is going to take a little bit of uh, tree clearing and land modifying or terraforming to get us there. Uh, but it's actually right right here. Uh, it's, I'm pretty much going to have to get rid of all of these trees. If I can save some... Actually, I'm not going to save any. I'll go back through and add some if... Uh, the design allows for it, but as of right now, those are going away. Uh, is that tree? There we go. Uh, in order, in order to get this here, we actually need to go. Why did I just do that? We need to go under this track. And so what I was thinking is, so our, oh man, let me just see through scenery real quick. Okay, so if I take it down one tile here. I can do something like that. And there's definitely a tree right there or something in my way. So that's going to have to go. I'm going to guess it's this one. I hope I guessed correctly. Uh, I did. Sweet. And then there's another one right here. 
Right there. There we go. Uh, but yeah, if I take this... Uh, what am I trying to see? Is that allowed me to see it? Yes, it does. Okay. So I have to take this under this ride. There's no way to get it over since uh, this ride is one tile or one height marker above ground level. Uh, so I'm thinking of doing that. That should allow us to get path all the way over. Uh, and I'm going to find out right now because I'm kind of planning on doing it in this area. And I think that will work. Okay, it does. Uh, and then we're going to have our entrance. I don't quite know yet. I haven't thought that far ahead. Uh, we need to have... I'm actually okay with not having a line for this. I don't think it's super necessary to have a line for a hedge maze. Uh, so I'm not going to. So we'll put our entrance right there. And we'll put our exit right there. Which means we need to start right here. And I don't really have a, a plan in mind for this maze, but I do know I want to utilize almost all this. And I'm honestly, I'm probably going to do it in a just a rectangle here uh, just to utilize all of the space. I don't want to do any supports. I don't like how that looks on a hedge maze. I think it looks kind of wonky. Um, but what else? I think we can go right here. Yeah, there's no trees there. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. It is just a hedge maze after all. No one cares too much. All right, so I said I was going to do the exit here, and it's going to be coming off of... Let me just go ahead and make the, the exit path real quick. Um, sure, that'll work. And the exit will be right there. And then we'll have a couple not correct paths that they can take as well. And we'll make sure to... We'll actually leave that open in the middle. I think we could put some trees back in there. Maybe one right here as well. Just to keep the heavily forested feel of this park. I think that will look nice. Ooh, actually. We'll take up one of those tiles. And we'll cut the maze through the middle here. I think that could be kind of cool. And then we'll do one tree there, one tree there. I think that could look nice. And so we'll do the entrance right here. And the exit right there. Did that go where I wanted it to? I don't think it did. I think that's at an angle. I need it to face... Um, it looks like it's trying to go... Let me do see-through rides. Because uh, this is kind of in my way. It looks... Okay, now I can't see anything. Uh, so where's the tile? Right there? Okay. Right there. There we go. I think that's what I wanted. Uh, I've got to do undo that. There we go. Okay, now it's facing the correct direction. Earlier it was exiting that direction onto this tile, which is not what I'm wanting. Um, let me hire a mechanic so mechanic 6 doesn't try to cover this because God knows he'll be on the complete opposite side of the park when he gets the phone call. He's pretty good at that. Maze... And, okay, there's really no paint job necessary for this. Uh, why are we losing guests? I don't know. Our park rating has definitely recovered after uh, the incident that was Mark slash Mildred the Mouse. But we're back up to a passable uh, park rating. And we need only a thousand guests. We are, I wouldn't say we're comfortably there, but we're there. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. And let's allow, what's our max people on this? 16? Let's do 12, because I want to name this 12-point maze. Not 12-point buck, but a 12-point maze. And we'll go ahead and open that up. Um, I don't think we want to change it from hedges. No, that's fine. We'll keep it at hedges. I think I just clicked brick walls to get off of that. Didn't mean to. Uh, okay. So that's it for 12 point maze. I needed to add trees, like I said. Let me do that real quick. We'll do the skinny variety. Because it allows us to do multiples. Which I think looks kind of nice. There we go. Now it looks a little bit more like it's still in the forest. It didn't earlier. I don't like completely 
tearing out an area of trees, deforesting an entire chunk. But there we go. That's a little nicer. Uh, but sometimes it's necessary. And do we have stats yet? We do. Two dollars and ten cents. I love watching guests try to solve the mazes whenever they jump over and try to cheat. <laughs> it's funny. At least I think so. Are people going on this still? I said I didn't care, but no, they're not. We'll charge 10 cents. Okay, let's get to what I was wanting to build this episode. River Rapids. I don't think we've done this yet. Uh, we've seen it in uh, Sonata Springs or Aqua Park, but we haven't actually built it ourselves. Uh, so River Rapids, the construction is a concrete water channel. Uh, the boats are free to take their own course along the channel. And there's no tips or tricks as to how to build these. This is kind of like a, a car ride, I guess, as far as construction goes. There's a couple fun things you can do. But this is Ropey Rapids, the pre-made one, um, or the pre-built design and you can do waterfalls you can do rapids and i believe you can do whirlpools and then other than that it's just the shallow inclines or declines of track as well as just these uh right angle one tile turns so um i needed to find a spot for this and i think i found one but it's gonna take a little bit of work to get it or to allow a ride to be built in that area and I'm actually thinking I can utilize some of this space right here. Uh, I'm going to need to take out... Let me do invisible rides real quick so I can see all the scenery. That doesn't really help. Never mind. Um, I wanted to do the station. There's a good angle for it. I guess this is decent. Uh, I wanted to do the station... Kind of right here. Uh, that will allow an exit to go very easily. Actually, if I back it off one, I can continue doing my exit right back out onto the main path. Perfect. Uh, but if I do this, I'm going to take it... Um, am I turned around from what I thought I was doing? I totally am. But that's actually okay. This will work just fine. Uh, this actually isn't what I intended to do. I wanted to have the station going this direction and then going out and back. But I guess this actually works, and honestly, it might work a little bit better. What's in my way? Tree? Ah, there it is. Okay, I don't remember the last time I built one of these. Obviously not in this series. This is our first time building one of these. But as a kid, I, I think I enjoyed building these. I've, if you can't tell, I'm starting to get to the point where I don't really remember this like late into the game i recognize this park i know i've done it but as far as it being like super familiar it's not okay so we can do a waterfall rapids or a whirlpool uh let's get a couple whirlpools going we'll do two back to back just to really get the spin going and then let's turn it because turns also naturally add spin to the ride uh, and then we'll do a couple waterfalls here. There's really no... I don't think there's any, like, trick to building these. It's just you want to add a variety of different... Different track pieces or track type... Track types. There we go. Uh, and we'll turn it. I want to go back... Uh, I guess we really can't go under this. Actually, yeah, we can. Uh, I just need to create it to where we have something to go under. Uh, let's do some rapids right here. And I like how... Okay, so rapids... You saw with the whirlpool, I did one, and then it went back to normal ride track type. Uh, with this, it allows you to put a couple in a row without having to go and select it. So I think that's the game's way of telling me that that's what it wants me to do. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Because it allows for it, I might as well do it. Okay, and then I want to go back down and turn and come back underneath at this middle section right here. Oh, so many trees we got to demolish. It pains me to do so, but I have to do so. Oh man, all these are going to go. 
Okay, what else can we do? Let's do another uh, Whirlpool. They get their spin going right there. And I love, if you just look at the, the water animation, just in this area right here, it looks like a spiral. It's kind of cool looking. Because you can see the kind of the lighter versus the darker shades of water. I think it looks really cool. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Uh, this view is not going to get us where we need. We'll stick with this one. Can I go any lower or am I, am I at ground level? Oh, I'm up on a hill right now. Uh, so if I turn it once, I hit the underside of that ride. But now if I turn it, I should be able to drop it one more. I hope. I'm pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure it's just trees in my way. Yeah, most definitely. And if I turn it again, it looks like I can go down even, even more. Okay, I need to figure out where I want my entrance. I think it would make more sense to have it on this side. Uh, so I'll just do an entrance with a wide path, linking up kind of over here by the fries stall. So that way I can bring... I might be able to... No, this is getting kind of long. I was going to say I might be able to bring it over on this side and then back under. Uh, but depending on where we're lining up right now, that may or may not work. Actually, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see how that looks. Or where it's going to spit us out, at least. We might be able to do just a little bit. If I could get, like, a waterfall or two over here. Or maybe just one, because we're going to run into land. Never mind. Uh, we're not going to... We're gonna, still going to poke out on this side, but we're not going to have any time or the ability to do anything fancy on this side. Uh, so right now, I need to keep this low because there's going to be an entrance that's going pretty much right above this. Um, actually, for the sake of realism, we'll put it... Oh, man. It's going to go right in this opening right here. I don't know if you guys can really see that. I can't either, but... All right, that brings us back up to 15, which is right with the station. And it should allow us to just go straight in. Uh, let's end with some rapids and then turn it back into the station. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, let's do a waterfall right here. I think that would look cool right underneath the, uh, not a whirlpool, a waterfall. Right underneath the supports because it, it fills it in nicely. And it almost looks like it's acting as support, which I think is kind of nice. Okay, so then the entrance is going to go right here, I believe. And the walkway is going to probably have to go above this. I don't think we can clear it by just going straight. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, so the walkway will go up and over. And now that we've cleared it, we can do kind of whatever we want with it. Which, honestly, we're probably just going to bring it straight back. Uh, onto this. Perfect. Okay, so that's a decent sized line. Uh, that's probably going to be perfect with how many boats we end up getting. Ten boats. Eight people per boat. Okay, that's a lot more than I thought. I thought it was only four people per boat. Okay, this is going to be pretty cool. At least I'm hoping so. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a test. Track is not a complete circuit. Did I not turn it? Let me do height markers. Oh. I guess I just never finished that. Oh, I backed it off to do rapids, maybe? There we go. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and give this a test. Uh, it's not the kind of ride that's going to be really enjoyable to just watch. But I think it's, it's pretty cool, nonetheless. We'll kind of pan back over this once we actually get some guests on it. Uh, and again, the entrance is not as far down as it probably should be. But I'm not too worried about it. That's only important if you want to make as much money from your ride as possible. But we're not exactly hurting for cash right now. We are doing just fine on money. And we just got a balloon stall. I will come back to this in just a sec. You guys know how much I like my balloons. Okay, now finding a spot for said balloon stall, that is going to be the challenge. Because this park is getting 
pretty, not busy, uh, but there's not a lot of space left. Now we're going to do, you guessed it, orange balloons. It's going to stick out, and that is the goal. Uh, okay, we're going to do probably five or six of these, just wherever I can find places for them. And while I do this, I'm going to try to think of a name for River Rapids. Uh, okay, that didn't take long at all. I got a name. <laughs> we'll actually do this while I've got it in mind. Gone Fishing. It's the only real water ride we have left in this park, or at least that we're... Uh, words are difficult. It's the last water ride we're probably going to be building in this park. There we go. Let me make sure to open that. Uh, and I think we need something fish-related, because hunting, fishing, it all kind of... It all kind of goes to together, hand in hand. Alright, so we could do one right here. I'm putting these way closer together than I thought. But I don't care, because I like my balloon stalls. Just a lot. I was going to say just a little, but that's a lie. <laughs> okay, so let's do probably one more of these. Just kind of up here in this top right corner. Somewhere. Right here is perfect. And that should be good on balloon stalls. I could always add more, but I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, gone fishing. We don't have test results. Yeah, we do. Okay, not super exciting. Uh, I don't know if I did something wrong or if that's just not a very exciting ride to begin with. I'm pretty sure the uh, the pre-built one wasn't crazy either. 3.8, 1.3, 0 0.9. Okay, I'm okay with that. For my first one that I've built in who knows how long, I think it's good. Uh, 2.20? We can charge barely any more than what it defaults to. Uh, and as far as the paint scheme goes, I kind of like it. The white really kind of sticks out. It is a concrete channel, after all. That is kind of the color of concrete. And the boats... Oh. I actually didn't mean to click that. But I actually kind of like that. The blue looks nice too, but the water is already blue. So is the Q. I think orange is nice. We'll stick with that. Accidents are good sometimes. Let's make sure this guy has coverage. He does. That's the great thing about putting your ride exits directly on the main path. Is that usually your mechanics are already uh, assigned to that main walkway. So that they can get from one ride to the next. So if you put something along that main pathway, they can already cover it. You don't have to go back and add things. Uh, but okay, it looks like Mildred the Mouse is finally back to a decent line. Uh, between waiting for two minutes, which I don't think we'd really need to anymore, not that it matters. Um, we have a line. And honestly, now that I know I can do that, if I ever run into that issue again, or I build another one of these, that has that same kind of issue where if it's going super slow, then it might crash, which clearly was the case. I don't think I'll need to adjust the number of cars. I can probably just get away with upping the max wait time because let me see how high this can go. I would guess three minutes? Be 180? Nope. It can keep going. I don't think I've ever done this before. I don't think I've ever thought you could make it go higher than 60. 250 seconds. That is four minutes and 10 seconds. That is crazy. Uh, we can keep it at that. It doesn't matter. I wish you could type into this because that took entirely too long to get it there. Uh, but that's just the max wait time. No one's going to have to wait that long. But that would definitely prevent any issues from happening if we were to run into any issues like that. Uh, what else can we build real quick? we got a little bit of time left. Not enough time for a coaster. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and we need to add a little... A little sprucing up to our park. Um, I think... What kind of fences? I think we'll stick with the same ones we did in uh, Millennium, Millennium Mines. Uh, but there was one place I had in mind. We had... Where was it? It was back over here. Yeah, right here. 
uh, where Groundhog Day comes out. Like, look at the land right here. That just looks kind of ugly. Uh, and it's definitely a safety concern. So we'll actually go ahead and kind of rope that off so no one can get into it. Uh, we also need to adjust the siding there to match the rest of it. Look how much better that looks. <laughs> so much. All right, that was really the only major spot I had in mind as far as uh, needing some kind of railing or a safety. But now that I'm looking at it, this is also a safety risk too. So let's go ahead and rope all this off. That will prevent people from hopefully throwing their trash down on people below. You know if this was a park in real life, there's some unruly teenagers, the youths, that would <laughs> drop their trash or spit on the people below. It's disgusting and gross. I don't know why people do that, but some people do. Don't be one of those people. No one likes those people. Uh, was there anything else we needed to fixify? All of these walkways over here look like they have handrails already since they're already elevated track or not track uh ride not ride path just path there we go i got my head on straight uh but yeah this park is actually pretty safe to begin with uh let's go ahead and hire a few more handymen that can just go wherever the heck they want and we'll actually allow them to mow as well i don't really care too much at this point but We'll just place them all right here in the middle, just for time's sake. They will spread themselves out eventually. And I'm pretty sure there's a, a keyboard shortcut for closing out of every menu you have open. Um, I'm going to look that up between this episode and next. And if it exists, I'm definitely going to start using that more. Because whenever I do handyman like that, it gets pretty crazy trying to close out everything. But alright guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I will leave you guys here as I place some cotton candy stalls throughout our park. Uh, not something I feel you guys are dying to see, so I have no problem not showing that to you guys. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I know this episode wasn't incredibly action-packed, especially compared to last one. Uh, it's going to take quite a bit to top that, in my opinion at least. That completely underground design. I just had a complete blast and a half making that ride, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. But okay, guys, thanks again for tuning in to yet another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. I really appreciate you guys sticking with it and watching these episodes. I hope you are enjoying them even half as much as I am, because I'm having a blast. So that's going to do it for this episode. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.